Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Friday. I'm actually going to um, change my sign and put up another I'll be gone till sign. Uh, but I'm following through on my word. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually trying to get finished with Princess. And so I want to stay focused. And I don't want to be on Facebook scrolling, 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 scrolling. And uh, at the end of the month, all I'm doing now is working on edits. And I want to get this book out by a certain time. And so being on social media uh, does not make that possible because I start reading whatever y'all talking about and I get sidetracked. Okay, so, but I am here this morning to encourage you. Listen, please pay attention and be aware uh, of what's, what your surroundings are. Good morning, Toria. Uh, what your surroundings are. And um, it's been so funny to me. Um, I go into a lot of rooms. I've been blessed to be able to participate in quite a few functions and activities and things. Hey, Tay, um, you know, that's going on. And so let me tell you something that you have to do. We talked before I left on my sabbatical uh, about protecting your spirit. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, God is not showing you things to hurt you. And that's the thing that you have to uh, recognize, that everything is not uh, designed or created to hurt you. The reason why God is revealing it to you is because he loves you. Uh, don't start thinking negative about what's being shown to you. It's okay that people don't like you. When God shows you that people are not, you know, for you, that's okay. Like, that's the part that you have to process a little bit different because, um, a lot of times we'll process that and we'll think, oh God, why can't I ever find, you know, true friends, real ride or dies or whatever. Well, um, you will, you will find people that are in your court. You don't even have to talk to these type people every day because most of the time they're going to be business minded people. They're not going to be people who can just hang out. Good morning, Arthur. Thank you so much for always sharing. Um, so God is not doing it to hurt you. That's the part that I need, uh, you to do the true feels hurt with, uh, with yourself on today. Re Recognize that God is not trying to hurt you. So listen, there was um, two different incidences uh, just this week uh, where two people who actually are close to me um, or, you know, know me um, ran into some people who don't know me. Uh, who just come in and listen to my videos randomly and I didn't know that they did that because they never like anything or they never share anything or they never come in and that's fine um but it was this tickled me uh so they went to the friends of mine and they was like I watch her videos all the time but you know what's funny to me when she goes into a room or something like that she acts really funny and so the lady that really knows me said what do you mean she acts funny uh, she don't speak. And she was like, no, she speaks or whatever. She just don't talk. She's just not talking. Uh, you know, she's not, you know, mingling with people. Like on the video, she's just so crunk and she's loud. And listen there, <laughs> she's loud. And, you know, she's just so animated and whatever. But when she gets into a room. Now, my husband has been told this before, too, by people who uh he's worked with they they they're like you know when your wife gets in you know the um you know whatever the function is she's very quiet she's this or that listen 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 there is a, a spirit that i have to pick up when people accept me I, I do have that, and we have that. God has given us that. When people are not quite receiving us, oh, uh, listen, I'm not going to have full conversations with people who I know don't like me. I'm not going to be entertaining these spirits. I'm not. Um, a lot of times when I have tried to make myself do that, I end up hurt. And so, you know, I would go to God in those situations and ask him, how come? How come, God? Listen, now, I'm going to help you this morning. How come, God... You know, why, why, why when I try to open up myself or why when I try to, you know, hang out with these people? Good morning, Hamilton. Uh, why, why is it that, um, I end up hurt? Why is it that, you know, in these particular situations? And guess what he said? I told you. I warned you. I did. And see, that's the part we get upset about. But God showed us. God showed us that certain people, they smile in your face. He showed us. That's one thing I love about him. It's just we misunderstand what he's telling us. He's not doing that to hurt us. The Holy Spirit is not telling us to be quiet in certain situations because he's doing it to hurt us. He's doing it to protect us. And so that's the thing that 
You know, I had to learn early. I was like, Lord, have mercy. Why you keep showing me all of this? And he's like, because I love you. I love you. I, I know that the enemy comes up against you. I know that you have different situations. I know that. Yes, Tay. He shows us, y'all, and we ignore his signs and stuff. And we feel like, you know, we just have to be doing everything with everybody. You know, we have to we have to fit in. Like, I want to be accepted by, uh, you know, everybody. Uh, but I've learned that that's not going to be, there's some people who don't like my videos who, um, they want me to shut it down. Like they're excited about me, you know, quitting. There are some people who would be happy to find out that I, you know, had a, a period or a season that I didn't want to write books. There are people, I, I promise you, you don't understand it. And there are people who would want you to close your business and stuff. Good morning, Carla. There are people who don't, you know, and, and it's sad. I get it. I get it that you that you can't believe that it was a family member. You can't believe that it was a church member. You can't believe it. I know that it throws you off. But don't keep blaming God for the things that people are doing. You know, in this world, good and good things happen to bad people. Bad things happen to good people. We live in a world like that. And so we often get sidetracked with how what people are doing and, and blame it on the fact that God has aligned our lives like this. No, he's always protecting. He's always concerned. He's always loving on us. He, listen, because we have wills in this world and we have people who get to choose whether they do good or bad... He warns us. He he warns us. You know, and I'm just telling y'all, like we have to, we have to stop. Uh, I will look, Arthur. I will pray. Yes, I will pray. Uh, but they, I'm telling you, it's just so much. And so the Lord told me, Princess, I'm not doing this stuff to hurt you. And you know, and that's a message you can share with your other sisters and brothers, anybody that will receive it. I'm not doing it to hurt you. I'm doing it to let you know. Just that way that you can do what uh, you talked about. I talked about the other day. And that's what he was saying to me. Do what you talked about. But, you know, it's some some of y'all are some mean people. And y'all, y'all camouflage it. True feels hurt. With your anointing, what you've been through or whatever. You, you, some of y'all are some mean people. And y'all act like it's everybody else. Like you can't see nothing you're doing. <laughs> Jesus. I thank God for truth. Yeah, I know when I'm going into a room and I'm being mean to people versus when I'm just protecting myself. Okay? I know when I am acting up. I don't know why we pretend and act. We say some ugly, ugly, ugly things sometimes to people. Not everybody. But we say some ugly, ugly, ugly stuff. I'm talking, some of us are some mean people. And I know when I'm doing that. But when I go into rooms and I'm quiet or whatever, just because I feel like other people don't like me, that don't mean I got to be cutting up. Carla, amen. Thank you so much for sharing that. We, we, we live by our testimonies. I thank you for sharing that. Me too, Carla. I had to go through the same thing. I, I'm not mad at nobody. I'm going to speak to y'all. I'm going to hang out, uh, when I need to hang out. Most of the time I'm only there because my husband and I have something we have to do. Uh, I have learned not to go to every function. Um, I have learned to cut you know, things off. If I don't feel good, I don't go because I'm, you know, <laughs> um, I, if I don't, I just don't do it anymore. I don't push myself to do things. I pray before I, you know, go hang out with certain people because some of y'all have some more raunchy spirits. I'm telling you, some of y'all, and I'm talking, I'm talking about, uh, I don't do a lot of hanging in the streets and stuff. So I'm not talking about street people. I'm talking about regular, you know, average, ordinary, uh, whatever people. I ain't talking about folks with complications and all that. I'm telling y'all now. So another thing, I also learned this, everybody that is smiling in my face, um, everybody that is talking about they're going to help with this and they're going to help with that. that they, mm -mm. The Lord is just showing. The Lord is just showing me who I can rely on, who I can't rely on. It's, it, it is what it is. It's not to damage you. It's not to hurt you. Yes, you're human. The Lord knows he made you human. That's not rocket science. Um, that is not something that you, you know, you can keep saying, I'm human and, you know, no, the Lord is not stupid. He know what he made you. So I told y'all that before. Truth is, sir, he knows that you're human. But he's showing you these things so that you protect yourself. I want it so bad 
to uh participate in this uh news i wanted i wanted to pick a pr person how about that and i was um searching and i thought okay i hired this person because this person works with these other people and i did it and um i paid my money up front i don't i don't like to play games i paid my money up front you know they sent me what they was going to be sending out and stuff like that and i did get return on one of the things and so the lord told me that after he showed it to me it was revealed to me i'm telling y'all it was revealed to me that um what i really wanted was never sought after like it I, you know i ended up in my my local newspaper where my mom uh lives but what I wanted was to be featured as a military spouse during, you know, military, this is military spouse month or uh, military spouse, whatever. So anyway, I, um, had, I paid for it. And so I paid for it. And then when I reached out to them, they was like, well, you know, this didn't work out, whatever. But the Lord has a way of showing and revealing stuff to you. And that was supposed to hurt my feelings, but it did not hurt my feelings because the Lord had already shown me. Yes, they do that for those people, but that's because they are. And, and, and that confused me too. Let me say this right quick. That confused me because I paid for it. I wasn't asking for a favor. I paid for it. So anyway, I really wanted to be. Like I said, well, she said, well, it was complicated. And then, you know, they asked, did I want to, you know, be featured at Barnes and Nobles and that kind of stuff. And so I told her yes. And then I never got a reply back. Like I never got, you know, I asked her to tell me what to do. And so that was, those things are used and designed to slow you down, stop you, distract you. When people are being mean to you, those things are used for those purposes. And so what I had to learn is to protect, like we said the other day, protect my spirit. But I also had to be aware that God is not doing this to hurt me because what it will cause when people do these type things is depression. It will cause you to think that, you know, you can't trust people. Uh, I can't live my life and, and, and run after or chase after a destiny or walk with destiny if I fear everybody that's coming after that. Okay. I can't, you know, you won't find good relationships if you fear everybody that's coming after. The one that hurt you. The one that cheated on you. So I had to ask God to heal me. And so this morning, you're going to have to ask God to heal you so that you could go forth. Because again, the uh, the enemy is going to attack. That's not something that's going to stop. He's on his job. That's his job, y'all, uh, to do these things. But you must stay focused and you must ask God. Say, God, you know, I'm asking not only that my peer, my um. Thank you, Carla. I'm getting ready to go. But not only is my spirit, you know, do I need to protect my spirit, but God, I'm asking you to guard my heart. Uh, help me uh, because I need to go forth. I, I need to live. I need to be free. As I'm writing princes, y'all, this is one of the toughest things. I'm asking God to tell me what to put in there, how to reroute some of this stuff, how to reword some of it because y'all not going to be able to take all of it. I'm just telling y'all. Some of y'all going to not like some of the things that have happened to me. Um so I'm asking him to tell me how to protect even me in my book uh, because I must get the story out so that I can help somebody. But a lot of times things are used and people will take it and they will come after you and they will attack you. And yeah, you know, yeah, we are anointed. Yeah, whatever. But like I said, we are human. And so God shows us things so he can protect us. Y'all ask God to continue to walk with you, talk with you. Look, send you angels, guard you. Uh, just ask him, ask him, he'll do it. That's what's been happening to me. I have such a peace that I can share with you. Listen, listen, I have such a peace. Uh, I'm standing in the lion's den and people are confused. I, yeah, I know you talked about me. Yes, I know you lied on me, but I'm here. I am. I'm here. I'm standing here. I'm not going to be moved. Yes, I know you thought I wasn't going to finish my projects. Yes, you thought that every book that I announced that I was just saying that and that you know, that season passed and that I'm not working for it. But the Lord attached me to some new people who are speaking to my spirit, who are telling me that just because you didn't finish then doesn't mean you won't ever finish. You must continue. They're checking on me. They're checking in. And I, I didn't pay them. That's what's funny. I paid this other pe these other people. <laughs> <laughs> but the Holy Ghost told me not to even worry about that. We talked about that. So look for that video too. Don't expect your blessings to come from the same people that you are blessing or that you paid, that you gave something to. So anyway, y'all have a blessed day. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I'm operating off of his peace. I was in the emergency room yesterday afternoon. I actually walked out because God told me that he was going to heal me and he did. He did it. <laughs> he did it. 
I promise y'all, he did it. I had a headache. My blood pressure was up high. He told me as I was sitting there, I was going into my second and a half hour. He said, if you go do what I'm telling you to do. I talked to my mama on the phone. I left. I walked out. My husband said we was escaping. I got my evidence. Let me show it to you. My husband said we was escaping. And I escaped because I heard from the Lord. You don't do it unless you hear from God. Now. Nah. Don't do it. Do what it tell you to do. But he told me he was going to heal me. So guess what? I got my behind up. And y'all have a blessed day. I'm better. I'm stronger. I'm wiser. Because I learned what the enemy is trying to do. And what God can do for me.